you go ahead and do it this week. I'll do it next week. Okie dokie. Welcome to Rage You Nerds! I'm Mr. Cack and I'm joined by TJ and Jared and we're going to give our thoughts on The Flash, official trailer 2. Now, we're pretty conflicted, I believe, and hopefully you're not conflicted, about hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. So, much like The Flash, you should do this very Smash fast. And if not, dingy. much like The Flash, you should go back in time or run around using the Speed Force to find a way to go to an alternate dimension where maybe you did make the right choice and you liked the video and subscribed to the channel. All I'm saying is you're letting down Michael Keaton's Batman by not doing this. All right, we hope you enjoy, or not. And if you don't, again, we'll do the time thing. All right, goodbye. New trailer starts in... I hate those intros. More Batman. It's kind of like more cowbell. I like better. You too. Oh, that wait. Pain. That's Bruce. I think. Maybe yes. Who I am. For the uh, sequel mm -hmm. to, to Tim Burton's Batman, Batman Returns, there was a toy setup that was one side. One side was the um, Wayne Manor. It was, it was like a big opening. It was basically a dollhouse. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and like it was Wayne Manor. And then on the back side, it was the Penguin's like underground frozen lair thing and then in the middle it was the bat cave and this is honestly what i remember the setup for the bat cave portion looking like from all the old screens and like these monitors like just looking at this reminds me of the toy yeah uh, i spent a lifetime trying to write the wrongs of the past give another batman as if backstory would bring my parents back Who's that woman standing there with Batman in this cave? So this shows us like so we've got we've got so this looks like um this looks like the uh the the nightmare sequence Batman suit from yeah. the from the uh uh Justice League movie. Okay. Remember where um oh, what's his name? Ben Affleck's Batman has the goggles yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and like the Marauder suit. This kind of looks like the the setup for that. Uh, then there is a underwater bat suit, which I, I like. Uh, and then we have just iterations where, all right, so the cape was kind of in the way, being pinned up there with the cows. So let's <laughs> give a little bit more freedom. Okay, that didn't work. Let's do this. That's an homage to the, because the blue coloring. Yeah, the, the nineteen The 1960s Batman. Uh, and this one has a side holster gun. <laughs> 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 Love it. I can't imagine what you've been like through. A... I love you, Mikey. <laughs> you lost both parents in one day. Barry! Call now! Is that a... Uh... Oh, gosh. I think I said that in the last trailer, too. But instead... Ron Livingston. I was about to say Ron Burgundy, and I was like, no, that's not it. That's what the Flash does. If you went back and changed the past, this world must die. You changed the future. Do you know what this symbol stands for? It means hope, right? I will help you fight God. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Hell yeah. All right. I have quoted that line so many damn times. I am so excited. <laughs> I don't care that it's shoehorned in for just people like me. Yeah. I love it. Want to get nuts? That right there was. A... <laughs> Let's get nuts. Okay. All right. It gets nuts. All right. I like. I'm not a fan of the other flash suit. It just looks weird. I have to undo what I did. Any scars we have make us who we are. I'm not meant to go back and fix them. So, are we gonna have both find you. Batman in the same universe, sort of? CGI looks pretty good, which has to be expected for. Go back to. Do they just steal a scene from The Dark Knight Rises? What we do. No! 
So I thought there was supposed to be like a dark flash in this. And I'm just kind of wanting to see the suit. Are we You're doing some... Parachutes. The wind's yours! Oh! Ah! Ah, where's yours? I'm Batman. Uh, Batman don't need no parachute. Entertaining. Uh... Being that I'm not, uh, according, you know, but DC, I'm not, you know, I don't, uh, I don't have a whole lot of knowledge as far as characters outside of Batman and Superman go. So, uh, um, storylines, I'm sure there are plenty. I'm sure all the comic book people are like, Jared, but blah, 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 blah. I just don't know. I saw a giant squid shooting a laser beam out of his butthole above a big city. Flash and Batman are hanging out. Ben Affleck's there, who's also Batman, which makes me think it could be a multiverse kind of thing. A lot of CGI, a lot of good CGI, and they get dropped out of the Batjet. Uh, it looks kind of cool. I mean, it doesn't seem like this is anything that we haven't seen yet other than the, do you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts scene, right? Other than that, I mean, it's I mean, it's, it's the Flash, and however you feel about the person who is playing the Flash, you know... I, looks like it could be a good movie i just you know it's it's too late the, it's too bad the flash can't like go back in time and then change the past and have someone else cast in this role the whole the whole crux of the batman versus superman movie is related to zod's invasion of earth yeah there's some layers to this man there's some layers to the story al i've got a bad feeling this might be a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was The Flash official trailer 2. You boys watched it. I've seen it. I've seen it. We're going to do a rant here in a second, but before I get you geared up for that, let's talk about this trailer and how you feel about it. TJ, you're up first. What'd you think? Uh, you know, I, I like the trailer, um, given it for what it was. You know, it's it's not anything new that we haven't seen with the previous Flash trailer, in my opinion. There may have been a couple extra scenes, uh, like I said, with the, um, with the you want to get nuts, let's get nuts scene. Aside from that, you know, the, you know, we know that two Barry Allens are in the same universe at the same time and how that happens, you know, for those who aren't aware is Flashpoint. Barry Allen runs back in time, tries to save his mother from dying, ends up creating an alternate timeline called Flashpoint where things aren't the way they're supposed to be. And I guess that's where this new Barry Allen comes in. I don't like the, the, the second flash suit, which is basically like a bat suit. One of Michael Keaton's bat suits turned into a flash suit, like a makeshift flash suit. I don't like that. Um, supposedly there's supposed to be a dark flash like a future dark flash or something in here as well i kind of wish they would have showed that a little bit they showed a little bit more in the last trailer uh it seemed like but and as far as like the two batmans like i i'm you know it's making me wonder because i i don't think you see the two batmans in the same you know scene at the same time so i'm kind of wondering like what that's going to be is it going to be ben affleck batman at the first of it you know michael keaton batman you know throughout the rest of the movie uh i'm interested to see where the movie goes like, it's supposed to be, like, um, a reset for the DCU, theoretically. I don't know. That's just what I'm hearing. And I'm hearing that there were a lot of, of cameos cut out. And some of the cameos that people really wanted to see might have been cut out. So I'm kind of curious as to what cameos are, are left in. Jared, you have been a pillar of consistency with how you feel about Batman in the DC film universe. Is this trailer enough, in your opinion, to win you over? Uh, mm, no. Um, well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps. I don't not like it as much. Wait. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, okay. So, I have, first of all, I'd like to point out that I have no, again, to my knowledge of DC, you know, Superman, Batman, a little bit of Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. The rest of it's kind of like, I might know the characters. So, everything that TJ said just a second ago, I have no earthly idea what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> so, and then the Dark Flash came in, and he, the, the Angel of Sauron came down, and I'm like, oh, cool. All right, cool. That's great. That may, maybe this maybe this Flash character is pretty exciting. Um, but uh, it, I, I, I am with TJ on this. Like, I don't think we saw anything here that we haven't seen before. It's a pretty exciting trailer. I'd like to see, uh, well, I, I, I don't mean to sound cliche here. I'd like to see where it goes. 
um, I am interested and uh, could, um, you know, let's go back to what TJ said for just a second, though. You know, we got uh, Ben Affleck in this, a young fellow, Michael Keaton, who's 109 years old. <laughs> could it possibly be that Ben Affleck is Michael Keaton years earlier? Scoob. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, but that would be cool. It wouldn't really be cool, but I mean, if they did it, I wouldn't be like pissed. <laughs> I'd be like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, I said this when I was talking to Al, and I'm going to reiterate it here. <sighs> it's so it's so conflicting, and both of you kind of touched base on this at different points. Listen, I wish I could just straight up say, oh yeah, this looks great, but there's a whole Ezra Miller conundrum here. I don't want to support that person in their endeavors. At the same time, though, this trailer does exactly what they should have done from the beginning, and they focused on Michael Keaton and his Batman, because that's the draw. The trailer looks good, because it's a really Michael Keaton-heavy trailer, and that's what I want to go see. I really just want to see Michael Keaton. And all they had to do was show me the same old clips and include a 25,000-year-old Michael Keaton say, You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Because I've been saying that. Since the early 90s, <laughs> every chance I get incorporating it to almost any absurd situation I can because it is an iconic quote in my mind. I wish we could just enjoy the damn movie, but but there's the whole, like, can you... So, yes, TJ? <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to say it, you know, right off the bat. <laughs> You know, the whole situation of it all. Um, <laughs> you know, I did make the comment, you know, maybe if the Flash could just go back in time and recast somebody else. Really cool, <laughs> really cool thing. Really cool thing about all of this is uh, apparently Michael Keaton is on record asking the production, like the set crew, to take as many pictures of him in the bat suit as they possibly can because he would like to continually show his grandchildren uh, him as the Batman thing. And I'm like, oh man, just. I want everything to be successful for Michael Keaton in this film, and yes. I hate, I hate that there's another, <laughs> there's another side of this coin that makes up two thirds of the damn movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know you've dug your heels in now. <laughs> That's gonna right. be a good movie, man. I, I mean, how, but how is this gonna be one of your? Like, I, I, I'm not saying it is. I know I agree. <laughs> no, but the fact is, though, you've had <laughs> 20 years to try to figure out how to make a movie, and then you make a movie that looks good looks good for right now i'm definitely i'm not gonna go see it in theaters because i don't really care that much for it you make a good movie and then your franchise is going under at the moment <laughs> you've had to bring somebody else in to restart it and then you're just gonna just make this movie put it out there and then never come back to it again more than likely it, it, it doesn't make sense so you're telling me dc could have been making great movies from the start like come on now <laughs> I appreciate that you've taken such a hardline stance on this film. I appreciate your hardline stance. I do think this is going to be a good movie. Uh, I don't think this is going to... I would be shocked. I'd be shocked if I watched this and I come out of there saying, this is my favorite superhero movie. But I will, I will not be shocked to come out of this film saying... That was a good movie. Uh, and, and listen, again, we can we can go back to the Ezra Miller of it all. <sighs> I think I think I'm gonna have to support this in defiance of Ezra Miller. And I know that doesn't make sense, Al. It's just what I'm gonna have to do. Oh.